Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our where we left off. And so we have this right here. So we need to look at how to handle multiple column indexing. And if we look, so let's just like like I said, we get, we got rid of this. So we got a close, and then we got some other columns here. So Let's look at this. Let's let's bring this back into memory. And here we go. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do one video at a time. We do one subject at a time, maybe two. All right, let's look at stocks. So it is, but if we looked real close, it was closed, right? So what would happen if I just slice this? Stocks close because this is pythonic uh -huh. <laughs> okay now let's look at this stocks we said close so what would happen if I then did coke what would happen Holy moly. So we have a bunch of data here. And what do we have in our toolbox of how we can go and chop this up and store it and not have to do this manually? Any thoughts? We don't need to write this again. All right, so let's look at this. So I have this handy dandy. Now we're gonna do it wrong, and I'm, this is your hint. For, that wasn't even close, for I in symbols. Can never spell symbols right. All right, so print stocks. And we'd already said close, right? Close. Now, now I'll just go ahead and show you. So, all right, these are lowercase. That was capital. So you need to make sure we go i dot upper and close that out and close that out. All right, so let's look. So I basically, oh, here we go. So now I have each individual data frame for Microsoft, for Disney, for American Express, and Boeing. So here's our little hint of our little toolbox, how in the world we can begin to go through this and dump this in. So if I were to take this, and go, let's comment that. So if I were to go data dot D, then I dot up, actually let's just leave it as I. And then equals. Stock, close, helps if I do this, sorry guys, then open dot upper, close, there we go. So let's check this out. And what did I do? Helps if you spell everything correctly. So what am I doing? I'm making a database, excuse me, I'm making a dictionary of our, there we go. And the reason why I'm doing this is so I don't have to, I, I automated this. I didn't have to do this manually. So basically I've taken my key 
So I can now go through and we're building and we're building. I'm just trying to get you to think about this because next we're going to be going through and we're going to group and throw all these in because because what you what the stock market does is everybody tries to go and just find find something. It's comparing and contrasting. It doesn't really matter if you're making sadly, if you're making money, are you making more money than the other guy in that industry? Or sadly at times, are you losing less money than the other guy in that industry? So if you're better than your competitor, you get rewarded. And I'm going to show you several different ways to look at that. But this is the beginnings of it because you want to, you want to look at sectors. You want to look at, um, PE ratios. You want to look at peg ratios. You want to look at then any movement if it's off the high, because like we've been hinting towards that, that we're going to do very, very soon, any movement down. So we're going to have chunks of screeners, but this is how we do it. And then we're going to add a couple more tools to our toolbox. But I just want you to get comfortable with thinking about ticker symbols, how we're going to build stuff and how we're going to go from there. So as always, guys, please, please, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests. And this is how you handle a pandas data frame with multiple uh, column indexes. So there we go. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.